Hello and welcome to another episode of 100 Things Pittsburgh, the show where we explore Pittsburgh's hidden treasures and local gems. And today we're going to explore something that you've definitely seen, but maybe not thought about too much, Pittsburgh's staircases. And we are here with Laura Zarowski from Miss Step. Thanks for being here. Oh, Rosalind, it's such a it's such a privilege to be here with you. Thanks for the invite. Absolutely. So for folks who haven't thought a lot about Pittsburgh Steps, you obviously have. So tell us, <laughs> how many staircases are there in Pittsburgh? Ah, well, uh, there are two counts. Uh, Bob Regan's book, which is what I use for my project, mm -hmm. uh, P P Pittsburgh Stairs by Bob Regan, um, he has the count at 739. Okay. However, the city of Pittsburgh has the count of being about 800. Um, so there's a little gap in between the two, but Bob did his research for this book almost 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And the city has built some new stairways since uh, the publication of the book. So that, that explains a little bit of the discrepancy there. Okay, and yeah. so there are some new ones, but many yes. of them are very old. Absolutely. Do you know what the ages are? Yes, um, well, this history of stairs in Pittsburgh goes back well into the 1800s. Um, some of the earliest recorded wooden stairways um, go back to like 1860s, 1870s. Now, of course, those stairways do not exist. They, they've been long, long gone. Um, most of the stairs that I visit right now were built in the 1940s and the 1950s. Some of them have been very well preserved over the years. Um, areas like the South Side Slopes, uh, Troy Hill, uh, Polish Hill. Um, and others have not been as well preserved. And that's usually just because uh, I feel like it's a depopulation mm -hmm. in a particular neighborhood. The stairs were originally built uh, you know, during that time to accommodate the very large number of people who lived mm -hmm. here. And the city steps were uh, kind of like the, the first uh, big mass transportation system the city had because many people didn't have cars or as many cars as we have now back in the, the 30s and the 40s. So the stairs were a really great way to transport workers who often lived higher up in the hills uh, down to the low-lying areas where, mm -hmm. the, the, where the mills and the factories were. So uh, mm -hmm. most of the stairs that I'm photographing are, you know, they're, they're a good 70, 80, 90 years old, yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Well, and of course, Pittsburgh has many, many hills in the yes. neighborhoods that you pointed out that have some of the oldest stairs, yeah. even have hill or slope in the name. So yes, absolutely. <laughs> this, it's very Pittsburgh. Are yeah. the stairs unique to Pittsburgh, or do other cities have stairs as well? well there are other cities who have stairs, um, but not as many as what Pittsburgh has. So um, Los Angeles has a lot of stairs. Uh, Seattle, of course, San Francisco, mm -hmm. another very hilly city. Um, and closer to home, Cincinnati. Uh, mm -hmm. They also have a lot of city stairs. And, and also like throughout the, the rest of the world and you know, Europe, places like Italy, Germany, there are lots of city stairs that are there as well. But for the United States, Pittsburgh has the market cornered. We, okay. have, we have the most. That's amazing. <laughs> so, most yeah. bridges, I think, and most yes. stairs. Some people will argue on the bridges yes, thing, okay. um, but, uh, but when it comes to city stairs, that yeah, we, we've got the number one spot for that. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Do you do you find that people still use the stairs or have they kind of gone out of favor? You know, it really depends on the neighborhood. In some places, uh, like South Side Slopes, um, Polish Hill, uh, places like Fine View, uh, yes, you see people on the stairs all the time. You hmm. see them uh, on the stairs either because there's a bus stop. Uh, you know, nearby, and the stairs are an easy way for them to get to the bus. You also see people using them for exercise, um, which especially some of the very long, <laughs> steep flights like Yard Way over on South Side mm -hmm. Slopes. Ooh, like you don't need to join the gym <laughs> you, if you live near that flight and you're going up and down. It's, uh, it's pretty serious. So, but, you know, once again, in other neighborhoods where you know, people, there's just not as many people living there anymore. Mm -hmm. That is when the stairs start to, you see, when I see them, they're like, they become overgrown mm -hmm. in the summertime. They might have some railings that are missing, mm -hmm. the treads, uh, the concrete starts to become a little loose sure. or decay in spot, spots. And then um, sometimes, 
you know, the city has come in and they've actually closed mm -hmm. them uh, just because they're, they're too dangerous for people to, right. you know, to tread on safely. So it really wow. depends on the neighborhood. That makes sense. Yeah. Now, in the book, I referred to the step track. Have, yeah. you, have you done that or have you yes, heard about it? Yes, I have. I have done, I, actually, just this past year, um, I did uh, the South Side Slope step track. It was a lot of fun. And it really, like, um, they offer two different routes. And the one that I took, which I think is probably just as great as mm -hmm. the second one, you know, just offers some excellent highlights, really great views of the city. And it's a workout. You know, sure. the South Side Slopes, the elevation is pretty significant there. And uh, there's a lot of stairs but fortunately this past year it was a beautiful fall day and it was really great to get out and get exercise next year I would like to do the fine view uh, stairs challenge uh, I was not able to do that mm -hmm. this past year but it's a similar thing because fine view does also have a lot of elevation they have a lot of city stairs and also some of the views of downtown are really quite spectacular yeah so. it, truly a fine view you can see why they came up with the fine name view. but yeah. it is that view from fine view is extraordinary when you're on Katoma Street and yes and there's a staircase near there so mm -hmm. it's one of my favorite views of the city Excellent. it's a little it's <laughs> underrated yes <laughs> so for folks who haven't heard about missteps yeah. tell us about the project oh okay so the project started just about three years ago and it all came about because I am not originally from Pittsburgh I'm from Providence Rhode Island and Rhode Island is the smallest state in the country. You can get from one side to the other in less than an hour. Wow. And yeah, so it's really tiny. And I, you know, I grew up there, spent a lot of my adult life there, and I knew where everything was. Mm -hmm. So when I relocated to Pittsburgh, um, you know, six, seven years ago, it, after about a year or two of living here, I started realizing, you know, there are a lot of things I don't know my way around. Mm -hmm. Like I kind of stay, you know, in the area sure. around me where I live and where I have friends mm -hmm. and the things that I enjoy doing. But I started to realize, like Pittsburgh is a really big city, and there's so much here that I have n I have no idea where that is. I've never been to that place. So at the time I was looking, I had just finished a big creative project, and I was looking for something new to do. And mm -hmm. I really enjoy creatively. I like doing long-term projects that are going to take me several years. Uh, just to really get into it and explore something fully. And when I first moved here, I had picked up the Pittsburgh Steps mm -hmm. book um, at Wildcard uh, down in Lawrenceville, and it had been sitting on my shelf of like, oh, that'll be like a fun Pittsburgh thing sure. to read sometime. And my eyes just kind of happened upon it on the bookshelf, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, well, let's see what that book's about. Because I was like, I'm feeling a little like, ooh, I don't know Pittsburgh as well as I should. Um, and I'm looking for something really interesting to do. So I started flipping through Bob's book, and at the this is the second edition of the okay. book, and, and at the back of it, um, he has an appendix that lists all the stairs, all 739, in the order that he found them and, huh. and where they are. Mm -hmm. uh, because this was also a project when, when Bob was finding the stairs 20 years ago. Right. This, it took him several years to do all this work. Um, and I thought, oh, wow, this, this appendix in the back, it's going to tell, oh, <laughs> like, neat. it's telling me. Yeah, it's like my little highlighted huh. marks here as I visited things. But yeah, here's the first page, you know, and the very first flight was uh, Dornbush um, out in uh, East Hills, uh, Homewood. And <laughs> so these are all my notes. Um, and so I started here at, at number one. And so I, I decided, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go out, I'm going to visit the stairs. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, okay, Homewood, East Hills, I haven't been to that neighborhood. Right. You know, I've heard some things about sure. it, but I've never actually been there. So I packed up my Polaroid Spectra, <laughs> which is the yeah, camera sure that is. I have a camera. It's, a, it's an original uh, vintage. Um, wow. This is the Polaroid. And you take a Polaroid of every <laughs> yeah, staircase, right? It's a por and, and I consider them portraits. Okay. So I take the Polaroid out. And uh, yeah, and so I started uh, with Dornbush, which is actually one of the uh, steepest hills in the city. Hmm. Um, a lot of cyclists and runners use it for mm -hmm. endurance training okay. because of the grade that it's at. Wow. Um, and so that was my first thing. And I went out there and was like, okay. And I, you know, I walked up and down. It was a real workout. <laughs> and uh, you know, saw the neighborhood. And you know, right off the bat, it was one of these things of like, wow, this like this is a nice street. Mm -hmm. And I haven't really heard very many nice things about this area mm -hmm. of the city, but I've never been here before. Yeah. And 
this is, it was like really eye-opening to me as someone who is an outsider, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of walking around, seeing, seeing the people that are out and like, you know, cutting their grass and sure. walking a dog and like, oh yeah, okay, there's a couple empty houses here mm -hmm. and there's a little litter, you know, where don't you see that in sure. Pittsburgh? Um, and that was what formed not just taking the portrait of the stairs, but then also, uh, I consider it the story, the story mm -hmm. of the stairs, because with my missteps project, it's more than just photography. It's I'm trying to tell the story of the stairs. So if you're familiar, for example, with like Humans of New York, which yes. is extremely mm -hmm. popular, you know, Facebook accounts, books out and everything, um, the photographer there like, you know, in, engages with a random mm -hmm. person that he meets on the street and, and asks them a question or has them tell a little bit about themselves. And I felt with this, I was like, okay, I want, I want to tell a story about this stairway, about this neighborhood, about this street. And maybe, you know, it's the residue story of all of the hundreds of thousands of people mm -hmm. that walked up and down this sure. flight over the course of the last 100, 150 years. And so what, what is that? So as after I take the photo, I, I spend a little time and you know, I have a notebook and I jot down notes and I'm thinking like, okay, what are things that come to my mind mm -hmm. as I'm walking around here? And sometimes the thoughts are you know, really random and out of left field, <laughs> but I think like, this is the story that the, this area wants to tell. Mm -hmm. Like I just try to intuit what that is. And then that forms the basis of, of the short story mm -hmm. that gets published uh, along with the photograph on Instagram and on my blog. Mm -hmm. And you know, and then I do little print copies twice a year mm -hmm. uh, that are available for purchase. And Neat. Yeah, so that's, the whole story. I'm like, I'm trying to get this, the stairs to tell their, to tell their yeah. story. Like, what do they want the world to know about? That's so. beautiful. And what is the web address for the blog so folks can check it out? Yeah, sure. It's just www.miss.steps.com. Uh, and Excellent. it's the same thing with uh, Instagram. It's easy to find me on Instagram because if you just type in missteps and it's like the, the account is nothing but photos of stairs. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> There's like no food, no dogs, no cats. <laughs> you know, it's perfect. just stairs. <laughs> well, for folks who maybe haven't climbed a set yeah. of Pittsburgh stairs, if, if they can, why yeah. would you recommend that folks should get out and, and try it? You know, and it's just from my own experience. Like, I, I've been doing this now for three years, and it's really changed my life mm -hmm. in so many ways. And it's not just, oh, it's great exercise. Oh, you get to see new things. Um, but it's like, it's really reconnecting with the city. And for me, I'm connecting with it for the first time. Um, so whether the person is new to the area, like myself, this is a great way to get out there and see all different parts of the city. Or for people that maybe have lived here all their lives, the city is forever changing. Mm -hmm. And by going out and like going to the neighborhoods that you don't often go to, um, visiting the stairs is a great, you know, opportunity. It gives you something to do. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, well, why else would I go to Beachview, mm -hmm. you know? And it's like, well, Beachview has a ton of stairs. Like, right. grab, you know, pick it's up a copy sure, of Bob's right. book. It's still in print, you know? And, or you can actually use um, the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure has a map on their website of where all the stairs are located. So it's very easy to find them now. Mm -hmm. um, and then just, you know, go out and take a walk on, on a nice day. Right. And, it's like, you know, it's just a, it's a nice thing to be able to do and reconnect with all of these different neighborhoods in the city and, you know, just see, see what's out there. Yeah, and I love the spirit of exploration, too. That's a big yes. theme in my book. And yeah. once you take these stairs and you get out there, you know, a neighborhood that maybe you never knew before is going to open up to you. You'll find some new restaurants, some uh, new things to do. Every neighborhood I go to, I fall in love with. <laughs> Seriously, everyone, there has not, and I have not had one I have visited almost 400 flights now, so I'm a little more than halfway down the project, and I have not had one bad experience. And that Beautiful. is in all kinds of neighborhoods yeah. all over the city. Um, in every place I go to, I find something that it's like, wow, I could live here, <laughs> you know? Or like, you know, you see a house, you see a street, um, a place, and I'm like, they, like I said, I haven't had one bad experience, and I'm not expecting to have a bad experience Absolutely. while I'm out there, so. So yeah, it's it's I highly encourage people to, to go out and, Wonderful. and check it out. Yeah. Well, Laura, thank you so so much for oh, being you're here welcome. today. Thank you for inviting me Absolutely. on. It was a lot of fun. <laughs>
And thank you for joining us for another episode of 100 Things Pittsburgh. If you want to learn more about the new book, 100 Things to Do in Pittsburgh Before You Die, check out my website, 100thingspittsburgh.com. And in the meantime, have a nice walk up a flight of stairs yes. and tell Laura about it. <laughs> Thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time.